Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new podcast. I have been meaning to do this for so so long, call it five years and I've now just just started, I've just thought right okay just do it. I'm not even looking in the camera properly, I don't know where to look so my eyes are flitting all over the place, must look a bit odd. Um, but you know what, let's do it. Life's a stitch, so let's just do it. So hi, my name's Gail and I am a knitter, sewist and crocheter. And I have been wanting to do this podcasting malarkey for ages now, as I've said before. Um, so you're going to have to bear with me. I am not the greatest at technology so I'm a virgin at this so you're just gonna have to be kind and very gentle with me there are gonna be mistakes but I know that you out there are going to put me right yes and you're gonna do lots of suggestions give me lots of suggestions as to how I should do things and how not to do things but just be constructive just be gentle and that's fine. That's all I ask. To be honest, if I get five people watching this, I'm going to claim celebrity status, really. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with it. So, how are you? I hope you're all well. This is a really, really weird time to be living. I mean, if you're a historian, it's fantastic. There is so much going on. We've just got rid of someone and a new someone has come in so let's just hope that everything goes well 2021 is a new dawn a new beginning and it's going to be fine it's going to be tough we've got another year of this i'm sure but we'll pull through and if we're knitting or crocheting or sewing or weaving or spinning whatever your yarny subject is we're going to be okay so, what can I tell you about myself? I live in London, UK. I am passionate about knitting and all things yarny, really. Textiles, fibre. I love to dye sometimes, although I'm not very good, but I'm learning. I haven't done it for a while, so I want to get back into that. Um, I'd love to do some spinning. I started that, but I haven't done quite as much as I want. But this time, I'll get back into that. Um, weaving, I'm, I don't know. It's not really my thing, but definitely dyeing and um, spinning is something that I'd really love to do. Um, I hope you can all hear me properly, um, because this is just being done on my phone, and I'm really not that confident as you can probably tell but anyway let's press on um so yeah so that's me um i'm sure there's lots more i can tell you about myself but i don't really like divulging too much about me sometimes um especially at the beginning of something so You'll get to know a little bit more about me by and by. I also like to garden, actually, and I love books. So you might see some of that on here. But for now, it's mainly going to be a knitting podcast, I think. I know there are thousands and thousands of podcasts out there, but hopefully we can get along. We can have a bit of a laugh, go on a little bit of a trek and see what comes out at the other end. OK. So, what have I got on my needles? Well, actually, I haven't got that much, to be honest. Why am I here? Um, I have got something that I've started at the beginning of the year, which is the Flax Jumper by Tin Can Knits. Now, Tin Can Knits are fantastic. They have brilliant tutorials, fantastic patterns, brilliant books. I love them, and I do have some of them. And I've started this flax jumper at the beginning of the year. And it's a very easy pattern. It's a very good one for beginners who are just 
starting out on doing sweaters and this is a good one to start so why can you tell me why I'm having such a problem I have started this jumper about three or four times and it's still not coming out right now it's nothing to do with the pattern but everything to do with me I don't know maybe I've lost it for a little bit but I'm continuing continuing with it if it comes out not quite as it should as I know it's not going to be because some of the raglans I mean I don't know some of the raglans are raggedy let's to put it mildly but you know what I'm going to continue with it um, I'm nearly at the stage where I'm separating the sleeves from the body so I am going to continue with it and we shall see what happens at the end no one judge me it's just one of these things that I don't know I'm not very good at um, however the yarn itself I'm actually not quite sure what the yarn is but I think it's a DK I don't feel like it's a DK to me it's more like a four ply a fingering weight but maybe it's in between the two but it's yarn that I got from oh, I think it was Yarndale um, 2018 I think um, but anyway it's I don't even know what the yarn is what you know what what the what sheep what breed of sheep it's from I just can't remember but it's yarn that I actually dyed myself and I dyed it with um, avocado and it's a very I mean I don't think you can see it on here but it's a very subtle blushy dirty pink which is fine um, no problems with that but I, I just want to get this finished now because as I say I'm nearly separating for separating the, the sleeves and the body so I just want to do it and finish it I've tried it on and it, it does fit you know it's not tight or anything around my neck but the raglans I mean I'm, I'm a bit ashamed to show it to you really but there's where the sleeve is you can see the the garter bit and you can see a little bit of the raglan there or maybe you can't I don't know if this is focusing very well that bit's not too bad but it's the other side I mean it looks a mess really you know what when it's finished or when I get a bit further down the line I'll show you because at the moment that raglan looks like a hot mess believe you me anyway it will be fine it'll be fine all right it'll be okay on the night so that's that that's my flex um what else have I done um oh living in my project bag and this is one that I've done with the project bag is this is um, a pair of socks that I've just started and it's a pair of socks by well actually I don't know who it's by oh god um, but it's from the 52 weeks of socks book if you love socks if you like knitting socks if you crave handmade socks you've got to get this book I mean this book is the be all um, a pair of socks that I've chosen to do is this one can you see that it's um, it's called Jilly and it's number three I don't know who it's by best to put my glasses on oh this first episode is so anyway it's by Ina Birkenbeyer 
forget the pronunciation. I'm sorry to um, drag your name through the mud like that. I've ruined your name. But what I'll do is I will stick it on wherever you meant to stick it. And uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just write it out because that was not a very good rendition of that person's name. I don't know if you can see it there. But anyway, the sock itself, absolutely fantastic. Look at that. And there are so many amazing socks in here. This book actually has a bit of a story to it. Last year, my mother and I, we went on a journey to the Caribbean and it wasn't a very happy journey. It was actually for my uncle's funeral. So that was very sad. And we went for three weeks. We ended up staying three months because of COVID. Couldn't get back, which was amazing in itself. Um, and although it was a sad period, I have to say that I had the best three months ever in the Caribbean. I mean, I think some people actually think I planned it all, but I didn't. How could I know that COVID was going to strike, or at least strike that badly? Anyway, enough of that. I'll probably edit this out because um, it's rambling. But this book I had ordered, and I thought I would get back into the UK in time. And I ordered it from um, lovely Laylee. Hi, Laylee, who is from Emily Foles. And she kept it for me. I kept emailing her and say saying, um, I think I'm going to be back in a couple of weeks, so can you just keep it for me and post it then? And she said, yeah, fine, okay. And then I'd have to email her again and say, well, actually, I'm not coming back yet. I don't know when I'm coming back. Can you please keep it for me and send it to me when I get back home? Which she did. And, uh, yeah, that was so lovely of her. Um and then she invited me to be on a live stream to showcase my project bags, which I make. Actually, I forgot to say that you can find me on Instagram as Gail Made By Me. And you can also find me on um, um, oh, Ravelry um, as Chili Girl One. Now, my Ravelry pages, it's not really worth looking at because I don't keep them up, but I do browse a lot. I know there are people that are having a problem with um, with uh, um, Ravelry. So, but that's where you can find, that's another place that you can find me. But you're better off looking on Instagram because I am very prolific on there and I do post a lot on there. Um, I also have an Etsy shop by the same name, Gail Made By Me, where I do, at the moment, mainly project bags. And I also, most Saturdays, um, I run a market stall selling project bags. Um, and in the winter, I do lots of uh, winter accessories, so like hats, scarves, cowls, mitts, that sort of thing. Well, because of COVID, everything's gone to, well, it's gone. Did you hear that noise? Um, so everything is put on hold at the moment because of COVID. So I'm not actually doing the markets at the moment. So I'm kind of taking a break from sewing. Um, but I will get back onto that soon. So yeah, that's just a little aside got to say where you could find me so yeah this book is absolutely fantastic there are so many socks in here i mean well there's 52 so literally one a week there's even a pair of slippers that i'd like to do see that i think that's so stylish and i love the texture and the way it crosses over it's so cool. So yeah, so this book, I'm sure you all know about it because it's it's been out a while now and 
the hype on it has been amazing but to me it's well well worth it i love this book so much so yeah that's that um oh the other thing i'd almost forgotten is that Lely, she's so nice have you noticed her hair is so thick it's gorgeous and it sort of sweeps down into a lovely bob anyway that's beside I was also gifted this by Laylee um, because during the life scheme I gifted her a bag because I was so grateful and appreciative of her giving me the, that opportunity um, and she gifted me this so it's really lovely it's Icelandic, Icelandic hand knits by Helen Magnusson and again it has got some really lovely things in here I mean it's just, I mean, these mitts, look at that. They are gorgeous, aren't they? They're so folklorish. I love them. What else is in here? There's so much that you can, you can do in here. So there's this cardigan I quite like. I do like a loose fitting cardigan. Can you see that? And then there is, there is, oh, another pair of slippers. Can you see that? So yeah, this is a lovely gift from Laylee. I do have quite a lot of books actually. I am trying to curb it, but it's not working. In fact, I've, I've, I, I did actually get quite a lot of books just before Christmas. <clears throat> we won't talk about that. Well, actually, we will talk about it because otherwise I've got nothing to talk about. So, leading on from that... Um, so that's my flax and my socks. This podcast is all over the place, but you're going to have to bear with. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I forgot to say that the socks are made or are going to be made from Tuku sock. And I got this from, I got this from EYF. Not the last one they had, but the one before which was when was that 2018 or 2019 no it's 2018 i think but yeah um my knitting buddy jenny hi jenny she she'll put me right because she always knows dates and figures so yeah um this is tuku wool tuku sock sat is really nice really nice and rustic i don't think it's too I know some people wouldn't be able to wear that, but if you had to wear it against your skin, I don't think it's too bad. I would put a, a vest under it anyway, but I don't think it's too bad. But I can't wait for these socks to be knitted up. It's actually really nice. Um, I have done some other things, um, and I'll just show you. These are recent things. So this is my lovely pink hat. Now this... Oh my God, it's so warm and cosy. I can't tell you. It's the Suffolk hat by Joe Story. And this is actually one of my favourite hats to knit. Um, I'd lost the pattern for some reason. So I had to, I had to um, reacquire it, shall we say. Um, but yeah, this is, it's just nice and oversized. Um, I've put pom-pom that I made. Um, I love the cables on it and it's actually very very easy these cables they always look very complicated but it's not it's really quite an easy thing to do and once you you you've mastered it it almost becomes intuitive you just know when the next cable or when you should do the next cable so yeah I'm not going to put it on because you know hat hair and all that but yeah so this is Suffolk hat 
by Joe's story. Oh, and the yarn it's in is actually a Sirdar yarn. And I think it's Sirdar Super Chunky. I'll have to check. I'm not sure because I don't have the ball band anymore. But yeah, I think it's Sirdar Super Chunky. Another hat I did, and I don't know if you can see that properly. I'll get out of the way. But I think this is the honeysuckle hat, and I can't remember who the designer is. But again, very nice cables, which are not too bad to do. I don't know if, if that's showing up properly. And that's made out of three different types of yarn. I can't remember what they are. I didn't write them down at the time. Um, if I find it, I, I will put in the description box um, the yarns that I used. So that's that one. This is a cowl that I actually designed myself. Um, now my neck gets very cold in the winter. I cannot bear my neck to be exposed to that element. No, that's not going to happen. So I love making cowls and this one is oh god this is this is just this is the end of cows i'm sorry <laughs> this cow is made from malabrigio or malabrigio chunky i can't remember again i can't remember any of these yarns but i got this from the lovely marcia um hey marcia how are you doing um and she's on instagram as yarns you like and she you know she sells her wares online and offline as well so this looks like this when it's on I'm not going to put it on but when it's on it looks like this and so it spreads over your shoulders so it gives you a lovely warm sensation over your shoulders and if you want to you can turn it down so it's not quite so high and sometimes I do just wear it over a jumper and it's just so gorgeous and you can have it as high as you want or as low as you want so I hope you can you guys can see that I'm sorry if my eyes are going all over the place because I really don't know where to look <laughs> oh dear I'm making myself laugh here so far I've gone to 22 minutes and 54 seconds and I was going to do half an hour. Anyway, um, what else have I been doing? Oh, headbands. So this is a headband. Actually, I might put this on. Give you guys a laugh. Why not? You deserve a laugh. So, yeah, this is a headband or turban, I suppose. So good for when you've got a bad hair day, but it also keeps your ears warm. And I think it looks a bit stylish as well. So, yeah. Hmm. So it doesn't look too bad, does it, on me? So, yeah. That's one of mine that I've done. Um, and what else have I got? Oh, a couple of, uh, oh, sorry, forgotten. These are old foes now, but nevertheless, I love them. So this one I did, I can't remember when I did this, but it was a couple of years ago, I think. This is the um it's by isabel kramer and it's the caramel cardigan i'll put it on for you Let's see what it's like bearing in mind i'm putting it on over another jumper which isn't mine it's shop bought shop bought <laughs> sounds like sweets doesn't it shop bought <laughs> anyway, this is Elizabeth Isabel is Elizabeth Isabel Kramer's 
cardigan. I don't think it, I'm styling it very well, but sometimes I wear it like this with a shawl pin, or sometimes I just wear it just very loose like that. Not over this jumper because it's too thick, but I mean, I haven't styled it very well, as I said, but it's really lovely. I like it. It was very easy to do. This one was my first top down sweater that I'd ever done. And I thought, oh my God, this is going to be so hard. But actually, it was really easy. Um, and what I like about, I love the raglans. See, I've got the raglans perfect on this. On that flax jumper, I don't know what's happening. But anyway, I don't know if you can see that. Can you, I don't know if you can see the raglans there. But I just love the raglans on this. Every time I look at it, I think, that looks really nice. That looks really good. Can you see, see the raglan there? I don't know if it's focusing properly. But yeah, but I really like this. It's made out of... Um, I think it's Drops Puma that I used for the, the beigey, this colour, and for the burgundy wine colour, I think it was Let's Lopey, or it might have been Phenolgan, I'm not sure, I think it was Let's Lopey because it was left over from another project. And there we have, I've just done like irregular stripes. I do like stripes. I think if you haven't got enough yarn, stripe it. That's what I always say to people, stripe it. And stripes don't have to be regular, do they? You can do stripes in, you know, fat stripes, thin stripes, whatever stripes you like at regular intervals or irregular intervals so that's my elizabeth i keep saying elizabeth it's isabel kramer the caramel cardigan and then this one this is this one is by isolde teague and i know i'm not pronouncing this properly but it's the stroker or stroker card uh jumper and I think this, I have done colour work before, but not on such a big scale. I mean, this is, have I? No, I haven't done it on such a big scale. But this, I think, was one of the first colour work sweaters that I, I've done. And I love this sweater. It's incredibly warm. It fits like a dream. And the colour work I love. I love this goldy colour and I wanted it to be a sort of autumny colour. Um, you know, in winter, everyone goes around in greys and blacks and my head can't stand it. I'm not a lover of black, um, but you can add things to it. But anyway, I digress. So this is a lovely goldy colour and this is Let's Lopey. Now, I have to admit... I do wear this quite a bit, but I, I couldn't wear it without putting something underneath because I, I feel that it is quite, it is quite itchy. Nevertheless, once I've worn it, and I usually, I usually do wear a vest or um, a thermal under, under it because I do get cold. I'm a cold morsel, what can I say? Um, once I've done that, I'm fine, you know? Um, so I love the colour work. I love this so much. Um, and the other thing I love about it are the floats. Oh my gosh. I think they're quite nice. Don't you? I mean, they're neat. There isn't anything that's pulling. And it's, it's like that throughout the cardigan. I mean, jumper. God, you can tell I'm a newbie at this, can't you? You will come back though, won't you? I would hate to think I was talking to myself. 
not that I don't talk to myself anyway, but anyway. So yeah, these are the floats. Do you know what? I could wear this jumper inside out. Those floats. Love them. <laughs> so yeah, that is my Strocker jumper by Isolde Teague. So love this jumper. And Let's Lopey is amazing wool. It is really amazing. It's so warm. I mean, it's just right for me. I can't bear to be cold. So at the moment, that's all I have. Um, oh, I'll just show you some project bags that I do. Now, these are kind of left over from Christmas and I had a few that I needed to finish up. So they'll go in for next Christmas. So there's this one. What's it got inside? And that's got Christmas trees inside. Can you see that? Sweet Christmas trees. I love this fabric. Stylized reindeer. And I love the fact that one of them has got a robin on his back. And he's looking around as if to say, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> I love this one. Um, and it's got a pocket in it. And a little tab. That's that one. But as I say, I, I'm just going to put these in for Christmas now. Next Christmas. This is a red one that I've done. Um, this is another one that was left over. And that's, that's very Christmassy inside. I don't know if you can see that. And there's a pocket. and a tab inside and this one's drawstring and they're quite roomy actually i could get a sweater in there you could definitely get a shawl in there and all your bits and pieces and then i just did oh yeah this is just another one that i I did the other day actually this one is slightly different it doesn't have um, a pocket in it it's more like a wash bag really I would think but you can use it as a little sock bag or whatever so this is a nice African print I, I love using African prints and I'll show you more of that as we go along later on so that's that um so that's it I think I don't have anything else I want to get on with that flax jumper because it is it's beginning to do my head in only because I know that the the raglans have gone a little bit awry so I want to do that I want to get on with the socks um I'm trying not to have too many things on my needles but I can feel myself wanting to cast on something else so I may end up with three things only on the needles and the next time I will um, I'll show you what else I've done um, I don't know the regularity of these uh, podcasts it may be it certainly won't be every week um, so I, I'm guessing every two to three weeks because it means I'm going to have to upload and edit and that's going to be a challenge for me but I'm going to do my best um, and if you have any comments at all please leave them down below please be kind <laughs> I don't want anyone shouting at me I mean I can shout back but I don't want to shout back you know um, this is a gentle podcast this is meant for everyone and everyone if you can knit, if you, you can't knit, if you're learning to knit, if you want to knit, just pop in and we'll see what we can do. Um, and as we go along, you'll get to know a little bit more about me. But this first episode, I is going to have to be a lot of work done on it because I'm making myself laugh. 
Um, and that's not really the idea, is it? So I think I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching, if you have watched. Um, please come back and join me. And remember that life's a stitch because our life is just one big fabric and everything we do is just a little stitch in that fabric making a whole big picture. So yeah, anyway, that's enough philosophizing for today. I am going to go off and get on with my flax and I will see you next time. And remember, life's a stitch. Bye.